All right, welcome back to another episode of the Man Down Podcast. Uh, this is actually episode eight zero for us, man. Uh, Kaz and Zoe is with us, and we got a special guest, man. Y'all can see the picture behind me on my TV. Uh, Tweety Carter, man. Dagon Baylor, pro, uh, uh, you know, playing professional ball right now. Played four years at Baylor. I'm gonna tell you something about uh, Tweety, right? Uh, this dude has been. He played varsity basketball from seventh grade. All the way up, he's got about seven thousand four hundred points logged as a uh, high mm. schooler, right? Dude, I think Baylor might have had the best record in their school history your senior year. Uh, welcome to the show, Tweety Carter, man, brother. I appreciate you coming on here, man. What's up, man? Appreciate you having me, man. Anytime, man. Appreciate you having me. Did I shortchange you on the seven thousand four hundred? It was it seven thousand four hundred and fifty? What did I shortchange? You know what's crazy? I don't even know the exact number. <laughs> I just know seven thousand. <laughs> yeah. Just some other things is you know he is you know fifteen steals in Bella history, fourteen assists. And 18 um, total scoring in Bella history. Just some other little acolytes. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Hey, so so I think the last time we seen you in a Baylor uniform, y'all was playing Duke in the Elite Eight, right? Yeah. Tell me about that, man. Because y'all had them, y'all had them down. Oh yeah. Tell me about that. Man, man. Trust me, man. That was a that was a game I live back all the time, man. It was a. To be honest, man, those boys, you know, they they won that game. You know, we had them where we wanted them, and we gave up a couple of uh, rebounds at the end. You know, um, that block charge on QAC could have got Zoo back out of the game. You know, he yeah. got those two rebounds in. You know, so that was major, man. <laughs> that was major. Mm-hmm. You know, and it hit out threes. You know, when them boys hit them, you can't really can't really say much about that. And, and Nolan Smith had a heck of a game that game. I think he had like twenty nine on us that game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. how you stepped up. So you know Kyle Kyle Singler kind of struggled a little bit that game, but those two stepped up, and you know the big fellas in the middle getting those rebounds at the end. So how? So I mean, what was the game plan, man? I mean, because that's something that we don't get a chance to ask a lot of people, man. Like, what was the game plan going against somebody like Coach Cadis? You know, a beast at X and O's, and then it's a it's a school like Duke that you know got a lot of. A lot of McDonald's All Americans. I think you might have been the only McDonald's All American on your squad, right? Was you? Was right you, at that time, I was. At that time, I was. And you might have been the first. You was the first that Baylor ever got. First McDonald's All American to come there. Right. Yes. And then, yeah. uh, so like, so how, how? What was the game plan going into? Like, okay, we about to play Duke in an Elite Eight. I mean, we, you know, leading up to it, you know, after all we've been through leading up to, you know, even making a, just having this opportunity in my senior year, you know, so when going into that game was just like, man, we can't look at it like this. We got to look at it as another team, you know, it's exciting, it's packing here, like we got one of the best teams in the country. So that's how we got, that's how we started carrying ourselves. And that started day one. So playing them was just like another game for us. Of course, the excitement like Coach K, I don't think I left the corner f- from uh, him shoot like the where we sit at, where they sit at. Right. Shot every shot at the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I, shot, I, shot on that <laughs> I don't think I left that side of the court. You yeah. feel? So. <laughs> oh man! All right, so let me let me let me back up a little bit. All right. Yeah. So I I kind of know the story, but I kind of I, I want you to tell it for everybody that's uh, watching and listening. How how did you play varsity as a seventh grader? Tell them about that the half court pull up. Yeah, that was crazy, man. I, it was a, it was, we was playing like the number one team in the state at that time, Christian Life. And, um, you know, we was down, we was down and coach called me, uh, in the first quarter, asked me if I wanted to go in. I was really playing JV. And I'm like, man, coach, you know, them boys kind of good out there. Like, I, ain't, <laughs> I just played JV. You know, I'm straight. I'm straight. You know, I'm, I went back to the end of the bench and, Second quarter came, he just called me. You know, he was like, you in. And I'm just like, oh, here you go. You know, but leading up to that, I always shot on the gun. I always, you know, was getting my shots up. So, yeah, and I was I, I was smaller then. So, you know, when I first touched the ball, man, kid you not, I just shot it. I touched, I caught it, I shot it, and I made it. And I started hollering. <laughs> you That's know, and crazy. I hit I hit two more threes, you know, two more threes, like basically back to back to back. And um, like with eight seconds left or like five seconds left, you know, I hit a half court three. 
And the half court three, we go into halftime down eight at this point. And he was like, from now on, you know, Tweety starting. I looked Dang. at my home boy. Like, uh oh. <laughs> so, uh, so who, hold on. Did you, did you, did you make a uh, senior go to the uh, bench? Like, whose spot did you take? I mean, that part, I don't, I, I, I really don't remember, you know, to be exactly honest on that one, you know, but we was a team, man. So it was all about bettering the team at that point. That's the way I'm saying That's it. In yeah. other words, he ain't finna put Buddy on blast like that on the on man down. So yeah. I got you, Tweety. Yeah, because, you know what I mean? The dudes that was older than me helped me out a lot, though. Right. For know? sure. For they sure. Me shout out to Penny. Even I'll Say it again. I say shout out to Penny. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. That's my dog right there. That's that's a that's just straight killer right there. Bro, could jump out the gym. Uh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. With nothing like it. With nothing like it, Mister Smooth. Yeah. Yeah. So so so, seventh grade. Now you varsity. Now you starting. Uh, you playing against competition way above your head and and yeah. doing well. And then yeah. by the time you get to your senior year, you averaging thirty, right? I was yeah like 30 32 or 35 like 32 I think 32.5 something like that <laughs> for anybody that played high school basketball to average 30 there is no question you are all american brother that, that, yeah and it's, it's not it's, it's and it's not it's easy it. it's not it's easy it's not because, easy to do yeah yeah especially 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 you you right at 6 foot or or maybe under 6 foot right I appreciate that, but I'm I'm probably five ten and a half. I gotta, <laughs> give, I gotta, give I gotta half. give you six. I gotta give you six foot. <laughs> I gotta give you six that. foot. Yeah, I mean, if they give an Iverson six three, man, I seen Iverson in the airport, man. We, <laughs> me, me and him, about the same. He got long arms. I give him, his, I give him the arms. He got long, a long wingspan, man. But six three is real modest, real modest, yeah. man. So I gotta give you a six foot, man. I ain't, I ain't gonna call you five ten. I'm gonna give you a six feet. Appreciate but, that. But 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 the average thirty two at six feet. Is uh, it's not easy. So you got to be putting that ball up from yeah. all all parts of the court, behind the arc, mid range. You getting in the paint, all that stuff, man. So we we I you know I definitely see the game. I like the game, but what I want to ask you is uh, so after scoring 30, 32 a game as a senior, you're Matt Dunn's All American. Why choose Why choose Baylor? Because they were just coming up after uh out of sanctions, right? Because of yeah. What yeah, happened with yeah. the guy that got killed? That right. he killed his teammate, yeah. and mm-hmm. coach that. didn't say nothing about it. So why why even choose Baylor, knowing that they was having sanctions, and you probably wouldn't go get a lot of help? All right, you gotta think about it. You gotta think about back up to Reserve Christian. It was Reserve Christian was good, you know, and we went, we started going all over the world playing, and we we started making a name for ourselves. The little bitty school Reserve Christian really out there. We playing in eight out of state tournaments. We playing everybody, man, from, you know, guys in the NBA now, the White, Will, Monte, the White Howard, like, it, I mean, all kind of guys. And we made a name for ourselves. So, you know, it was to a point where I could either go to Texas, Kansas, these schools and, you know, always be compared to this person, that person. I always was big on making my own name, you know, and Baylor – provided that for me you know going into it they wasn't like you said everybody fell off of them but before that Baylor was one of the top schools too you mm-hmm. know all the guys that left during that time during that tragic time went other places and became all uh first team all american you know big big 12 all americans mm-hmm. john lucas john lucas went to o- oklahoma state and really killed you know well so Baylor was good you know, and everybody faded off of it. And I, I looked at it as a, you know, hey, why not? Why not me? Why not go ahead and help change this program around? You know, and, you know, I feel like I did that, you know, with gotcha. along, of course, along with help with my teammates. You know, I feel like, you know, that was the perfect opportunity to go there and change the program around. Right. Look where we at. You right. Know? Yeah. And, and and how strong is that? That. uh the alumni relationship, you know, because I, 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 I got a question about a guy that came right after you left, uh, mm-hmm. Perry Jones. Yeah. I think that yeah. dude, I think that dude got a lot of potential, but, you know, his injuries was was holding him back. And now he's, you know, I don't I don't know if you go get another chance at, at the NBA, but the dude got some talent, man. What, what do you think about him? I mean, I, I love I love PJ, man. He, 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 I mean, you, you got to understand coming in as a youngster with 
all expecting to be this, be that, do this, do that. You know, it, it get tough. It get tough sometimes when you're going into a situation, you got to learn a new system. You got to play with other guys that kind of did the same thing you did, you know, mm-hmm. or even better, you know. So you, it's not, it, it becomes different then, you know. And, you know, even even with him not being in the NBA now, he's still playing overseas, exactly. you know. He playing, he playing in Turkey and stuff right now, doing really well for himself. So, good, you good, know, good. It, that's what I want. I, that's what I would tell Hoopers or anybody. You know, if you if if you don't make it in the NBA, you know, what are you gonna do? Hang your head. You got opportunities to make money overseas. You know, you Fact. can make overseas between five hundred a month and a hundred thousand dollars a month. You know what I mean? That's and you fall in between that. That's on you. You know, but mm-hmm. it's way more opportunity to make money here too. You know, so I mean, I was just telling him to keep his head up because, like you said, man, he is a talented kid, yeah. and he he went through some ups. But I mean, that's what that's what everybody exactly. You know, that's definitely big, man. I um just wanted the the piggyback. Do you think uh you being a McDonald's All American, the first to go to Baylor, kind of influenced PJ to even consider Baylor? I mean, I I would I would hope I played a part in it. You know, mm-hmm. because there's always. Anybody you could get to come to Baylor, man, it's, it's just a blessing, you know, because they, they really care about their player. You know, they, they do a great job. The staff do a great job, man. And I, like I said, man, it was for me when I was getting recruited by them. They was the only school that told me I had to come there and earn what I wanted. And that's what I wanted to hear. Right. You know, I didn't want to come here. You're going to come here and start because I knew. That was a lie. Me going to camps, me going to all these other places, and I'm playing against dudes that some of these dudes are recruiting. Like at one point, Texas was recruiting me and DJ Augustine. Yeah, and you yeah. knew that wasn't gonna work. Like, I mean, yeah. what, what was I the played play? against him? <laughs> I played against so well, t- wait, tell him about what you did to him. <laughs> huh? Tell him what you, you get, did to him. You gave him 40. Nah, we we went at it. We went at it. You know, we played a couple. We played so man, we've been playing against each other since we was nine years old, nine, ten years old. So it was always a rivalry between us. One thing I can say about DJ though is that I I you know how you try to get somebody out of their comfort zone, try to rattle them here and of course, now. Right. I had a tough time rattling him, no matter, you know, man, no matter what, you know, he stayed calm and he he it man, we learned I learned so much just coming up playing against different dudes, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And Man, it's just been, playing against some of these dudes, man. You you just go back and be like, man, yeah, I like where I'm at, right? Hey, so hey, Twitter, somebody in the comments just said Baylor got some baddie, uh, bad girls on the softball team. <laughs> hey, that volley, hey, hey, they, hey, that volleyball team was tough. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not speak on that. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, yeah. We no incriminating here. We ain't incriminating no. nobody on the man down pocket. No. <laughs> oh man, it's funny man, sweetie, I got a question. So did Bella yeah. use you to help recruit Rico? No, nah, nah, it wasn't. It was. He said Bella used you. <laughs> Yo, well, you know what I'm. You know what I'm saying. It's the connection. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But nah, man, Rico, you know, coming coming from you know Reserve Christian and and mm-hmm. Reserve Christian shutting down at, at one point, and I think Rico went. Rico went to Riverside, Riverside, right? Yeah, he went to Riverside. Right, right, right. And you know, Coach Timmy. My head coach is, you know, we, we sent in players. They recruited me, and I guess, you know, some of the Baylor coaches was like, we're going back, you know, and that's what happened. And he got – and Rico was doing his thing too. You know, he he had a heck of a career, man, leading up to going to Baylor, man. And, mm-hmm. and what he did at Baylor was big time, you know. And, and for him to <laughs> play basketball and go walk in with the Cowboys like oh, that, no. man. Yeah. I'll be yeah. A lot of <laughs> First, yeah. So, you hey, know? so, so, uh, what's, what's, what's next for you, man? man continuing to grind, continuing to hoop, man. And, uh, use what God give me, man. And, you know, can not, no matter what, you know, don't stop. That's my yes. big thing. Don't stop. For sure, man. I appreciate it. Hey, right. hey, uh, last thing I got to ask you, man, before I, before I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to open it up for Zoe and Cass because I know they want to. Probably uh probably be bringing a little bit. Uh <laughs> last thing I'm gonna ask you though is is who is your top five all time NBA great? 
who who's the goat, and then who's your who's your uh, four after that? All right, well, MJ for me. See, that's, that's, see, that's what I'm talking about, man. You can come on I'm a man down you, podcast man. anytime you feel like it. <laughs> You're more than welcome. See? You are that's welcome. That's what I'm talking again. about, man. <laughs> man. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not even going to sugarcoat that one with nothing. Yeah, you it know, ain't, MJ it ain't need to. Yeah, MJ, Kobe. You know, um, I like Magic. All right. Um. Shoot, I got I to gotta put Bird in there just because he handled his business around the time of, 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 of dogs in there. You know, he got he, he showed up. Yeah. I'm not mad at that. Um, you know, uh, I got to right. throw a big and I'm a guard, so I'm, I'm going with all kind of guard. Yeah, you, you guard of, heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guard heavy. I'm wait, guard heavy. You know? Wait, cut. And wait, I'm going to go, go, go go put Shaq in there. I'm going to put Shaq in You didn't put LeBron in your top? No, nah, 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 nah. Explain, explain that. Explain why. Nah, it's just it. You gotta think about it, man. You gotta think about it. Brown Brown still earning his spot. He's still doing amazing numbers right now. Like he ain't even done yet. Where I'm gonna put him at? <laughs> right. He ain't done. He's right. still doing. Yeah. He's still, he's still doing some amazing things, man. When he when he hang it up, when he hang it up, I promise you, he's gonna be somewhere. Yeah, yeah, he gonna be, he go, it's gonna, he gonna be easily top five. I don't know if he can crack that three though. For for me, you know, it's, for, tough. it's tough. I mean, yeah, you, you, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't argue that though. I wouldn't be like, ah, oh, nah, you, you wrong for having LeBron over this person or that person. It's like I said, it's just my, my feeling towards the game too. Yeah, you know, gotcha. yeah, yeah. So, cause some people see the game. Uh, you know, cause like, like I said, I'm, a, I'm gonna mention it again. You being six foot. Like yeah. it's certain things that you gotta have in your in your bag that somebody six seven six eight ain't gotta have. Like your exactly. your your footwork, the angles you take. You know, yeah. uh, studying uh, how somebody placing their feet on defense uh, to see what you know which Facts. way you gonna attack. I'll, like you doing you you're doing so many different things and beating yeah. people so many different ways. Where Harden somebody versus like, Giannis, that's yeah, argument. somebody 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 like Shaq uh, might be just bullying you. Now Bully. Shaq got yeah. skill. Yeah. He got skill, yeah. but it's more physical than it is yeah. skill. Now, somebody like Olajuwon is mostly skill and a little bit of physical. So, so for for me, I appreciate people who can find uh, their points in so many different ways. You can't take nothing like you can't take nothing away from Kevin Durant on the court. You can't yeah. take oh, nothing away no. from Kobe. You can't no. take nothing away from uh, Michael Jordan. But you can say this is the game plan. We're going under all of LeBron screens. Right, <laughs> right. You, you, you get what I'm saying? We, we, we're gonna we're gonna not double him so he don't you know he don't load up 15 assists and get 30 points. We're gonna make LeBron get probably 40 and only and seven assists because that's big. A lot of people don't think about a lot of people think about 30 points and they're not thinking about those 15 assists he just dished out. Right. You know, try, mm -hmm. don't get that 30. You want to keep him six assists on down. Right. Right. That's tough. That's tough. It's easy. it'll be a little bit easier to beat the Lakers when he when he six on down like that. Right. Mm -hmm. See, and, you know what I mean? and and that's and that's and that's knowledge right there. So my five is MJ, Kareem, then oh. Kobe at three. So my top three don't never change. Why I struggle it is four, five, and six because Bird, Magic, LeBron, uh, and Wilt. Four, five, six, and seven. I don't know how to order Bird, Magic, LeBron, and Wilt. I don't. I don't. It's hard for me to do that. Wilt is a cheat code, man. Wilt that at the right time, playing against the right them type dudes. Mm -hmm. And and you can't you can't run from that for me. Like and he showed up though. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> the did. thing. He folded. He, he could have folded, but he didn't. He he stepped up and he stepped up big. He no punk. He he no punk. Punk. Yep. Mm. All right, so Twitter, you gotta sell you gotta sell an argument between me and your cousin. All right. Yeah. Go ahead, Cass. All right, so <laughs> unbiasedly. So <laughs> is it is it wrong? Wait, what before I ask you, is it wrong? Would you say Luca is a product of the pick and roll offense? Or can he do that with any team? I mean, Luke, I mean, shoot, what about when he's not playing a pick and roll? He play one on one a lot now lately, and he's showing up. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's that's, I mean, that's facts. It's it's tough because I mean, if he could do that, 
I, I, I think Luka could play with in, in any system. Yes, I do. Because he's tough. He's tough mind and he's smart. All right. So you know? is it is it wrong for me to put um Luca in my top ten? No. I mean Luca still gotta earn a lot, you know, but he's proven a lot quickly. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's tough to, it's tough because how, how many years Luca been in the league? Two, two. second year. <laughs> two years, and we already putting him at that in that, in that type of category. So we got to be doing something amazing. You get what I'm saying? Right. And the same with LeBron. He's not done yet. Right. He might, he might jump up. He might jump up more. He might fall off, you know, but right now he's doing some amazing things right now, man. He, 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 he is proving himself, man, for real. I give you that. I give you that. So and- Tweety, would you put Luca in your top 10? Right now, of guys no. playing right now. Oh yeah, yeah guys Not playing right now. now. Uh, only the guys playing right now. Yes. No, no, no. Not 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 right now in the playoffs. I'm just talking about like all the 30 teams in the NBA. Like, would you uh, in this day? All the teams in the. Eight. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. What, what what he's doing right now, you you have to him. I mean, as a, a damn as a rookie, you could have put him in there. Him and uh, Trey, uh, John Moran, John Moran, like. I mean, it. What they doing is <laughs> is unbelievable, man. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna name ten guys, uh, Twitty, and I want you to tell me which one out of this ten comes out of the top ten. Okay. All right, KD. No. Yeah, no. LeBron. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. LeBron. No. All right, Kawhi. No. All right, uh, Giannis. <laughs> that long <No>. yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, that was the wrong time to ask. It's the wrong time to ask for Giannis right now. That man is in the locker room hurt right now. <laughs> but you got to think about it, though. You got to think about it. Giannis been in the league how many years? Five, 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 six. Five, six. five or six. Five or six. Five or six. Right? And Luca been in how long? Two, two. You just said two, right? Right. And Luca, things, none of them, none of these guys have ever done either. You he, know, so he been playing I mean, professionally though for for a long time though. But that's where we go back into that overseas ball. It it, it mm-hmm. helps. Yeah, it helps you up. I, I, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I don't think Luca is that much m- more better than Manu Gino- Ginobili. The only reason why Ginobili is not doing what Luca did is because Popovich was like, "Look, I got a formula, and I want you off the bench." Manu, if Manu Ginobili was in Dallas. With Poisingus, you know, or if he was in Dallas with Dirk, I think Mano would have been doing those type of uh, Luca numbers. Mano still know, average over thirty eight minutes though. I don't know about. I don't, know, I don't about, know about Luca numbers. Lucas yeah. can score on an elite level. Like I'm not saying, not saying Manu can't either though. Though, so don't get me wrong on that. You got, it. but Luca, the way he's scoring it now, and when you watch it, it's just like. Shit, that's like, true. Yeah, it's, yeah. Even yeah. the best defenders are having a tough time. You, you know, yeah, Kawhi. Uh, like Kawhi's a top tier defender. He just knows how to put the ball in the cup. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Matter that's of fact, true. The Clippers have the best wing deep. Is the best wing defensive team, and the boy average what thirty eight points a game. I, I don't even yeah. think. I don't even think you could. You could even say that's valuable uh, in today's offense uh, uh, in the NBA because I, I don't think being a great win defender, uh, defender gets you anywhere in the way the, uh, they're calling the game in the NBA, man, for real. Right. Like, it, I'm, that's true. They and couldn't touch Luka. They couldn't touch him, man. That's probably but why. I mean, you got to think about it. They can't touch a lot of people, though. That's, that's true. true. That's true. And, but but it depends. But Tweety. Tweety, it depends though, because because that first game when the uh, Blazers beat the Lakers, uh-huh. they didn't call the game tight. The the what what changed in that series is they started letting them put their hands on uh, CJ McCullough and and Dane. And when they was trying to drive off them screen and rolls and they was doubling, they they was guarding them pretty much with their hands and they couldn't turn that corner. The like, NBA, I, we have I, this talk. The NBA wanted that. We talked about yeah. this. The yeah. NBA wanted the Lakers to win that, so let's let's look That's, at that. that. Yeah, I mean, they did call the game a whole lot Lakers, different. Lakers just stepped up a little bit too, though. I give them that. They, 
A and M got stagnant a lot. They offense. I ain't gonna say Dame. They offense got stagnant a lot towards you know depending on Dame to bail him out when he's getting trapped. You know, right? Things like that. You know, but I just think the Lakers. You know, of course they're gonna get calls because they're the Lakers. You know right. that. I mean, that goes. You know, you play. You play Duke. They get calls. You play Heck Kentucky. Yeah. They gonna get. You know, it's just yeah history. History gonna gonna, yeah. gonna give gonna give you that. You know. Gotcha. But gotcha. you know, you know that going into it though. We you know that stuff as a as a professional, we talk about certain things like that. You know, you know the referees gonna give them these type of calls, you know they're gonna, you know, let them do this a little bit of us. So we gotta come with that mind frame. We gotta be ready to adjust to that. Right. So you gotta be mentally tough and you gotta play good basketball to beat the good the, the good teams, the good franchises. Yeah. Let me tell you a little back back to that question you asked me about Duke. Our thing was with five minutes left in the game, we wanted to be up. Seven to ten points. You get what I'm saying, and right. that's something we always talk about being on the road. We want to be up a certain amount of points with five minutes at the five minute mark. You know, because it give you that cushion. It give you some 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 you know mess up room. It give you you know time to adjust to certain things. You know, so and you got like I said, you you got a point point difference. So you you up ten with five minutes left. It's a little bit. Not saying it ain't a game, but you know it give you that. A little bit more balance towards the winning that game. Gotcha. Facts. Facts. Gotcha. All right. So Giannis, is, Giannis is the question mark. Giannis is the question mark, right? Yeah. All right. So let me let me. Uh, what about AD? Does he come out of the top ten? No. All right. What about Joel and B? Does he come out? Sure. I kick him for I kick Giannis. Okay. So right. uh, so so question marks by Giannis and Joel. All right. What mm -hmm. about Steph? No. All right. What about uh, Harden? He stay. What about Dame Lillard? He stay. Okay. So I think that's, is that 10? That's eight. That's eight that's that eight? he agree with. Oh, the 10, yeah, the 10 total, but the 10 question marks is it Embiid and Giannis. Okay. So, so I, I got eight and then I got, uh, wh okay. What about Paul George? Is he in there? Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> no, nah, not right now. I mean, I, I think his potential should he should yeah he should be in there, but his play right now I don't ain't putting him in there right now. Play okay, P, right. <laughs> all right, so so here here are the wild cards. Is it too early? All right, so if if we got eight right now, we got two slots open because we got a question mark by Giannis and Joel and B. We got two slots open. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're not here, gonna huh? We're not gonna put CP nowhere in there. Oh my bad. Yeah, CP is CP still ten. Oh, definitely. I mean, we gotta put CP in there. Okay, hey, and you know I'm from North Carolina, so you already know I'm. I'm we down have with to that. put CP in there. Okay, so we got nine certified <laughs> uh, people in the top ten. We got one slot open. Here's all the right. ten. Here, all right, here, 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 all right. here all right. Yeah, after this discussion, because I got Giannis in my top ten, and I agree. All right, Luke is not top ten. Then, with, okay, with that but, being but, said. But let me look. I, I just want to get Tweety's uh, side. So we got one slot open, to, uh, Tweety, yeah. and these are the guys that are, uh, are are trying to get that number ten spot. You got Luca, you got Westbrook, you got Donovan Mitchell, you got uh, Nikola Jokic from Denver, you got uh, um, Jason Tatum trying to get there. Jason Ta Jason Tatum trying to get there. I don't know how you feel about uh, Clay Thompson uh, with him being a number two. I don't know if you want to put a number two in the top ten, but you got and, Middleton, <laughs> right? But you, so you got six, you got six guys as either up and coming or who's been in the top ten before. Don't do that. Who who gets that number ten spot? Or, or mean, and Joe LMB too. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead on and take out LMB uh, Joel because you said Westbrook. He for sure got to be in that. In my opinion. Um. Who else? Who else? You, who else? You said because you said another name. Uh, like, yeah, he, Luke, Luca Westbrook, Joel Embiid, Nikola Jokic from Denver, uh, Donovan Mitchell, um, Chris Middleton. Uh, nah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm Chris just... in there. Uh, and Clay and Clay Thompson. <laughs> Absolutely not. Clay Thompson. No oh, what about no. Dev, and De, what about Devin Booker too? Devin Booker is trying to. I get got Luca above Devin Booker. Ooh, that's tough. I got him above Devin Booker. That's just my opinion. I, I have Luca above Devin Booker. Oh, boy, that's some tough ones, right? Yeah, there. it is. It's, right. it's hard, yeah, ain't it? That, that's tough. It's hard. It's hard. That's a tough. 
that's a tough to get a top. You got to go with the for sure. Your for shows, uh, the for shows was eight, right? Just right. for shows was eight, and then and then uh, CP3 made it nine, so uh, nine for show. So you got okay. one spot, really. I don't have no spots because eight Westbrook CP wouldn't even mention. You're right. Oh, that's true. You're right. So, so there it is. So, so that's you it, got ten. It. Which so it's hard. So it's hard to put Luca in there right now, knowing I'm, he got I'm Jason putting Tatum, Luka Donovan above Mitchell. CP3. Did you not see CP3 performance in the fourth quarter last night? Bro, hey, I man, so if you base it off CP3, the, wait a minute, no, wait a minute. No, no, I, no, I got, no, no. I, I'm gonna base it off the entire season. I'm gonna base, base it off it the off. entire season. Okay, that's cool. The that's entire cool. season, based in his. I'm just saying that's more of a because if I'm saying off the entire season, I had Giannis in my top three. And then we see uh, what he played think about it though. Look what OKC have. Exactly. exactly. No, they got they got nothing, bro. And CP had, went, CP went and made the Thunder I, look way better wait, than wait, wait, pause, bro, pause, You pause, know, pause. he showed up too, but CP, that's tough running a running a young ship like that, man. Yeah. Take that's out tough. take out Pazingas. And what do you have in Dallas? They also have a younger squad, like a lot of rejects, a lot of they was up on this team, now they're up on that team. It's the same thing. They have a lot of young players. Like, legitimately. I like, I like, I like, CP. I like the toughness in CP. No, no, me, not, maybe it's because I'm a little bit bitter of a Pelicans fan. that the I mean, that the, the, the individual <laughs> just wanted to leave us. I'm like, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I, I mean, know, I am, right? I, I'm a two-time season ticket holder. So, of course, yeah. I'm going to have a yeah. little bit biasness today. I mean, I'm salty. I'm, I'm going to be yeah, honest I'm with you. I'm with the Pelicans, too. Yeah, hey, so, hey, hey, Cass, Cass, check I'm this out, salty. though. A little salty, bro. Check this out, Cass. I, I want you to comment on this, and then I want Zoe and uh, Tweety to comment on it, too. So, <laughs> when when... When uh, see this, is what happens when you look at one or two years worth of uh, footage <laughs> on a person and give them the top ten title? What right, happened? Right. Because if you look back two years ago, when we was calling Porzingis the unicorn and he was killing, we had him almost in our top ten. Man, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The first game I went to this season, the first of my tickets this year was against Pelicans and Mavericks. I said this after that game, no lie. In life, and I seen Kawhi play in real life. Of course, I seen AD play in real life. Mm -hmm. That game against the Pelicans in real life, in real life. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going off of that night. Pazingas was the best player I've ever seen play in real life. See, and I'm a two-time season ticket holder. That's and what I'm, I'm saying. A I'm a two-time season ticket, bro. Pazingas, bro, yeah. that's seven three monster in the middle, but, and AD yeah. played that night, bro. It's hard. It was hard for what you Drew, think about Drew is a Mac Tatum is not Luther. You're dismissed after saying the stuff that you said about CJ and um and Dan <laughs> Lillard. <laughs> Luther, you're dismissed. Are we matching resumes? Are we just saying like no, 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 no? I'm, doing? I'm just talking about like with my eyes, like when, with my own eyes, when I watch. Kawhi play, he's a boring player to watch in real life. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he is. That's what makes because he play the right way. Right, he does. He, he, the does. Right way. he does. Kawhi is not fascinating to play in real life. I mean, to watch in real life. But he's a good player. X's and O's and doing the right stuff. That's just like watching the Patriots play. He's or nice, the Spurs. Bro. Or the Spurs. He, he, no, no, yeah. he is. I have Kawhi in my top five. I actually had Kawhi number two, but whatever. But I'm talking about in real life, Luca, how his style of play, the dude was, bro, who, he's a who seven three monster. Over? Who would you put him over in the top ten? Who would you put him over? No, 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 no. Listen well, to what I'm saying, yeah, cuz. Well, shit, after, after, you know, again, I respect <laughs> your opinion about basketball more than anybody. I respect your opinion hey, more about anybody. Not, but, not, but, but the reason why I'm asking that, the reason why I'm asking that, though, cuz, because you're not... You're not wrong for feeling that way about Luca, I, right? Fact. But I, I don't, cold. I don't have, I don't have Luca. I, I have Luca over CP3. But when y'all made the case for the 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 nine, including um, Giannis, you took out Giannis. I put in Giannis, so yeah. we basically yeah. could swap up CP3 and Giannis. Yeah, but and I don't still agree. be one spot. Yeah, yeah, and it's I don't agree with Russ because I, I don't know. I just personally, I'm not that big what? in Russ, but. What? Why not with Russ? Well, Russ, Russ have, don't get me wrong, Russ wants the ball. 
a little too yeah. fucking much. And that's why I don't like Russ because he's a ball hog, bro. He, Russ <laughs> plays the point guard. Think about no, it, no, he don't play the think. point guard position. Point guard position. He played the point hog position. He always <laughs> just want the ball. You got to think about it, though, cuz. Hey, check this out. I'm going to give you to you like this. Check it out. Check it out, all right? If all us playing right now, you Westbrook right now, all us playing, right? And we constantly throwing you the ball, like throwing it back to you with five seconds left on the shot clock, six seconds left on the shot clock. We constantly pump faking, throwing that, throwing it right back to you. What you gonna do with it? Well, with when you when you align the stars like that, of course. But so, no, no wait, but that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm telling wanna, you, develop something. I want you to develop want, something over the time. Right, but I want a rebuttal. I want one rebuttal. Mm-hmm. KD stated. That the one of the main reasons he left is because of the situations at the end of the game, the coaches was putting the ball more so in Russ's hand over KD's hand. That was one well, of the things. Problem because it's only one ball. Right, I understand, <laughs> which which is understandable. But I'm just going off of what KD said and what my eyes see, and he's <laughs> not that he's not that clutch at the end of the game. So I'm just I'm just calling the spade a spade. Russ but I mean, how many people can say that's clutch at the end of the game? What percent? If you go by game winning percentages, very few you're gonna say got a higher percentage of making game winning shots. Right, you know, the I, thing I like about Westbrook is that he never backed down no matter what he faced, and he still was putting up unbelievable numbers facing the things he was facing. No, as a teammate, Calabrini didn't. I mean, Scalabrini didn't back down from the shots neither. But so you're gonna put him up there? Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Scott Brini ain't average no triple though. You gotta look at you gotta look at Westbrook resume though. Yeah, you gotta right. look at you gotta look at Westbrook resume. What he did, what he, you know what I mean? That's why that's why I asked of what what are we talking about the way they playing now or resumes? Because if you're going on resumes, there's no way you put somebody in front of Westbrook. Like that, right. you feel me? Yeah, it's his his work, his work gonna get him there. All right. I guess it's I guess it's a little bit of both, Tweety. Like it's what they're doing now, plus the resume, because uh, you you definitely can't have a guy in the top ten who's earned it, and then just take him out for a guy who shows some potential but hasn't earned it. You you get what I'm saying? So uh, you know, go ahead. Go now. Nah, you go. No, nah, so it's a little. Right, I, right. it's He's a little not in my both. top ten. All right, and that's so all I, think we, I, think we that's change, all I, I was trying to say. He's, he's in my top 15. How about that? Yay, yay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, 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 last question. And I, I know you got a, I know you got a game tomorrow, uh, Twitty, so we ain't gonna keep you long, man. Huh? You no, that, you don't know. Edit, nah, 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 nah. What you saying? No, my bad, my bad. So, 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 uh, I don't want to hold you too long, man, but uh, I guess, I guess, last question. Now with Luca and how good he is as an offensive, you know, he's an offensive genius. I gotta admit that. Yeah. Um, with guys like Tatum, you know, who 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 is doing it off the ball, like Luca is doing it with the ball in his hands majority of the game. Yes. Tatum is playing in a system that Brad Stevens has him in, and he's good enough to get his points within that yep. system off the ball. Coming off of uh, drags, coming off of fades, coming off of curls, posting up, doing a little bit of ISO every now and then. He's doing everything, hitting the mid range, hitting three, going to the hole, fast break, free throws, all of that stuff. He does all that stuff well. But on yep. on, on top of that, he's a lockdown defender. Yep. How do you measure someone like Luca, who is not a lockdown defender? who has the ball all the time so his stacks are going to be inflated versus someone like Tatum that's playing in a system that's still getting the numbers, still getting the wins, who advanced to the second round and also plays defense. How do, how do, how do you uh, say which one is the better player? Tatum, Tatum is a monster, you know, because all those things you just mentioned. You know, Luca. don't get me wrong, he, he does everything we're talking about on the offense end. That's what he's known for, that offensive side. Mm-hmm. Tatum, like you said, doing it without the ball, don't have the ball in his hand 99% of the time. But that goes to he understands that this game is bigger than him. Just 
And this team, what they're trying to do is bigger than him scoring 40. Because if he wanted to come out and score 40 every night with he the could. ball in his hands, he could do it. But they won't be as good as they are now. Mm-mm. Taking the ball out of Kimba hands when he need to get jiggy. Even letting Smart be himself. You mm. get what I'm saying? Mm. All part into why them boys are so successful in Boston, man. They they care about and in uh what's his name? Um J- number seven. Jalen Brown. Brown. Oh man. And it, so if Tatum get the ball and, and say, you know what, I'm the man. Y'all, hey, give me the ball. Like a lot of these superstars do, or a lot of these dudes do. And that's why sometimes when it comes down to these tough games, they're not as as successful as Tatum them gonna be continue to be. Like you said, they're winning. They just got to continue to get get years into this game. They're young. So sometimes that's going to kick in when they're mm-hmm. playing against the Lakers in, in, in situations like that. But what that coach is doing with those boys, he's teaching them how to continue to play and be themselves with one basketball out there. Yeah. Mm. Why well, Tatum is good, man, because yeah. he don't care about all that extra stuff that a lot of these dudes care about. You don't see him. You don't see him doing a lot of these things. A lot of these other uh, all stars are doing. He take his time to get, let the game come to him, and he's ending up with thirty. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would, I would definitely. That's why I was asking, like resumes are just now because, like you said, man, it's hard to not put these guys of what they're doing now in the top ten. But if you talking about resumes and what all these other past guys have done, they just haven't done enough yet to to be in front of them. Got you. You know, but I think they, they, what they're doing and, and their potential, yes, they're going to go places we don't even know yet. And that's why what y'all doing, man, is, is great that y'all doing it because in probably about another year or two, guys say the same, and y'all going to be like, man, Taylor, man, we talked about this, man, a while back, you know, and that's that, that's what's great about this, that all that's th- these things y'all doing, man. So I appreciate y'all having me on. Bro, we pre- hey, we definitely appreciate you even coming on, man. Because I know I know you busy as all get out out there, man. So, uh, we definitely appreciate that, man. And uh, we we gotta let you go, man. So you can get some sleep and all that stuff, man. But I appreciate you, Twitty, man. Hey, no uh, problem. Yeah, get hey, give it up for Twitty, man, coming through, man. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Please don't let this be the last time you come through, bro. Man, anytime, man. Cuz, you know you can hit me up anytime, man. It's all love. You know that. All right, bet, man. Hey, God bless you, brother. I'll talk to you later. Peace out, brother. Yeah. Good night, bro.